Good morning. Welcome to a little hit class. Sorry, I got a little late start there. A couple minutes late. Racing around. <laughs> These days with the gyms back open, we are awfully busy. Matter of fact, we're going to probably be, uh, instead of having me do these now, uh, bring in all of our uh, Group X trainers. So if you're watching this today, um, it could just be my last one. Maybe you'll have to tune in and come see me at the Magnuson Athletic Club. But we do would love to have you guys uh, get in to see our GX stuff. Um, let all of Sarah and all her team uh, take you guys through basic workouts uh, that we have there. So hopefully you can get into both clubs. We've got John at Issaquah Fitness and Sarah over at a Magnuson Athletic Club and uh, both are up and running, so come visit us. If you want some personal tips for workouts and stuff or, or have a training session with me, come see me at the Mac. Uh, all right, gonna keep rocking here. You'll still get plenty of videos from me on um, Instagram and, uh, and this Facebook page, so you get lots of those going. Um, hi, party time. Yeah, just me by myself today, no kiddos, no family. Everybody's in Vegas, <laughs> except for me. So, and me solo. Um, I'm gonna be running without some of my, my crutches, my iPad and those things. So, uh, without further ado, let's get busy. But, crazy busy. Fourth of July, training. Uh, bring those hands across. Just warm up that upper body a little bit. We're gonna do some push-ups today. Uh, a couple arm swings each way. Loosen up those shoulder joints. All right, hip flexors are a little tight today, so I'm gonna drop down, do a little hip flexor stretch. <clears throat> I'm gonna keep this flowing though, so I'm gonna go in and then out. In, sit a little longer, a little rotation, and out. Tight through my hip flexors. How about everybody else? <clears throat> Switch the sides. Lean into that guy. Keep these nice and loose. We're gonna do lots of squats today too. Little body weight squats. One more. A little turn in there. Oh, all right. I'm gonna give a little split stance. Get that windmill going. So I'm opening myself up. I'm in that split stance, so it really should uh, pull those legs apart. Let you have good leverage on the spine. Switching sides, I'll turn this way so you see me. So I'm using that for leverage, turn and twist. Nice. Bring up. Do a little hip turn. So as I'm at the top, remember to kick those hips up. Right there, walk these out just a little bit. Good, go sideways. Big reach, side to side, loosen up those adductors. Get the inside of those legs loose. Couple of these. Nice. Plus there's no one guarding the, uh, the wolf over here, the big Weimaraner, 15 year old Weimaraner. I've already fed him, so he's up and good. <laughs> I've let him outside, so hopefully he's just gonna chill. He's sitting in his bed looking at me right now. All right, do a big hip swing. That right hip is sore. Last one, what have I been doing? I did deadlifts yesterday. Last one, good. Open and rotate. Big reach. Okay, everybody feeling good? You feeling warmed up? Ready to rock and roll? Sip of coffee. We're gonna start with some split squats. So instead of a lunge, I'm just gonna start in that position all the way down. We're gonna do 10 on each side. So get nice and deep. Almost a touch, and then right back out. So 10 on each side. Here we go. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
Nine, one more. And ten. Switch the sides. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One more. And ten. <clears throat> I often find those are more challenging for my clients because we're not walking. So you stay in there and you really have to balance. So hopefully you felt that too. All right, we're gonna lay on our back. Walk our heels out, walk those heels back, using that, that weight load from your legs as your resistance. So if you're still at home with me with no resistance, this is ways to load up those hamstrings. So as I load it up, now I'm gonna walk them out. Slow walk, as far as you can take it. So right now I'm basically in a reverse uh, plank, and then I'm gonna walk those guys back. So let's do 10 walkouts. Good. Walk them back up. That's two. There's three. Keep those glutes contracted. Keep your bottom off the ground. That's four. Walking these up. Halfway there, get these hammies going. That's six. That's seven. There's eight. Two more. That's nine. And ten. Nice job. Tight through there. Roll those out if you are. Listen to your body. Going into a side plank. So while we're down here, up to you if you go on your elbow or your hands. I'm going to go on my elbow today. So as your feet are there, remember you can have them like this or you can stack them like that. So you get to choose what you like. I'm going to go side by side today. And then all I'm going to do is press up and then bring that knee to the elbow. So once I've loaded it, which is now, I'm going to go 10 on each side. So that bottom leg is the one keeping me stable. Make sure you've got clearance here. 10 of these guys. Halfway there. One more. Good. Switching sides. Again, I've got the feet staggered, so I'll be there. Bottom leg's going to be pressing me up, so now I'm loaded. Pressing through. Ten. Halfway there. Three more. And done. Great job. Here comes those body weight squats. So we've got four exercises or movements, body weight squats. I'm going to open mine up a little bit so, so I get that sumo squat style that's going to externally rotate through those hips, make you fire your glutes a little bit more. Dropping in. Counters out, 25. Here we go. This is eight. There's 10. Fifteen. Five more. And five. Good job. There's our first four. How we doing? Hope everyone was awake and alert, doing well. Here we go, little seal jacks. I'm gonna pop in and pop out while my hands go over, under. I'm just gonna count to my head for 30, but go for 30 seconds, ready? Get those heart rates up. Seal jacks.
raining outside. Good day to be inside working out or at one of the clubs. Five seconds. Done. Ooh ah! 30 seconds off. A drink of water. First set through. Let's lock it up. Split squats, ready? Turn in sideways. Get that long spread between both feet. Get that deep lunge and then right back up. See how there's no movement there, so I'm really having to work balance, right? You can keep your hands on your hips, you can keep them out to your side. Ten on each. Switching sides. Straight up, straight down. Two more. Nice. Back on the ground, get those little hamstring walkouts. Remember, once you've loaded it by lifting up, glutes stay contracted the whole time, and you're gonna walk these out. So we got 10 of them. Walk them out, walk them back in. job. Great way to keep these hamstrings strong when you don't have heavy weights to do RDLs with. Everybody know what RDLs are? Romanian deadlifts. All right, four more. Walking in, walking out. Last one. Nice job. Right into our side plank. You can go up on the hand, you can stay down on the elbow. This time I'm going to do a little reach under and reach open. Just so I work on that thoracic spine a little bit. You can do whatever you like, just straight up and down. You can do those touches I did the first time. There we go. Reach all the way under. Reaching up. Mobility through the spine is key. So now I'm working on a little bit of range of motion while I'm also hitting that strength. One more. Pop it up. Gonna reach underneath. Hi. Nice job. Got the heart of the elbow there. Get a thicker mat. Or just go up with my hand, right? Okay, here we go. Going to those 25 body weight squats. Last time I started really wide, gave myself that big uh, turn as we were there. This time I'm just gonna go straight at it. I feel like my camera's moving here. We're slowly sliding. Here we go. I'm gonna go straight at you. Narrow and drop low this time. Just get 25 of these guys. That's 10. Powering through. Five more. And done. Good job. A little 30 seconds off. We'll hit another seal jack. Do it a little bit different this time. Here we go. 
Here we go. So last time I did it this way. Straight out to the side. Got a little pit bull in the background, music wise. Ironically enough, I told the, our computer here to, uh, I won't say her name, to uh, play pop workout music. And she chose a 24 hour fitness workout channel. <laughs> Gotta love that. And done. That's ironic, right? That's our first series done. Hope everybody's doing well. <laughs> I did find that funny myself. You never know what you're gonna find under rugs when you have kids. A little pair of glasses and a little heart ring. Random items that hurt your feet. Okay, here we go. This one we got, if you have a weight at home, get it. You can use a backpack or whatever you want. I'm gonna do a little pretend weight. We're gonna step out to the side. Remember, I love these side movements. We're gonna step out, press as you come through. So we're gonna do 10 on each side. If you got a weight, you could even curl and press to come out. Lots of movement you can do here, but I wanna start with that lateral motion. So here we go, step out. Make sure that knee stays behind that toe. Two more. Nice, switching sides. Stepping that way, coming back up to press. Pressing out. Nice job. Get that lateral motion. Little Statue of Liberty there. All right, we're gonna go to a bear, which means I'm not gonna to touch my knees. I'm gonna be on my hands and feet. I'm gonna do a tap, 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 donkey, donkey. So we're tapping and donkey. Ready? Here we go. Whenever I say donkey, I just go right into Shrek. The donkey. Here we go. Up, tap, tap, donkey. Donkey, tap, tap, donkey, donkey. Ten of these, this is three. He on, he on. You know you're doing your own donkey noises right now. Trying to show me up. Now I've lost track. So you trying to be funny? That's a happy donkey. Here we go for our push-ups, ready? Remember, push-ups can happen any which way. The wider means the more chest I'm using, more power. The more narrow means the more shoulders, more tricep. Uh, if they're up in front of me, definitely more shoulder. If they're down low, definitely more tricep. I'm gonna pick a little staggered uh, hand and do five this way. And then I'm going to switch and do five that way. Get yourself used to falling in different positions, being strong. Oh, I bet. Hey, oh. Good donkeys. Here we go. One hand is forward, other hand is back. Feet are wide. Give me that nice stance. I'm going to do five here. And switching it up. Move those hands around. Nice. Hope we found that challenging. You can always do it from your knees too and move those hands around. There we go, coming into my waves. You know I love these guys. Hands up underneath. Make sure that lower back stays nice and flat. So that's why I do a little bridge with those hands. Start with the feet in the air. It's gonna be a slow fall. Bring these knees up and then pop. Try and get airborne. Get 10 of these guys. That's two. 
Nice. Three. Four. Nine. One more. And ten. Nice job, everybody. Here we go for some squat touches. Get our first little interval here on the second series. Here we go. Powered by 24-hour fitness. <laughs> so don't blame me for the music choice. Here we go, popping down and then switching. So you can go that way, you can go two hands down if you want more mobility. 30 seconds, here we go. Halfway there. And done. Hoo -ah! All right, a little coffee break. Hopefully, I've had a good fourth. Different this year, huh? We did small fireworks with the kids. <laughs> it's all right. To entertain somehow. Here we go. Side squat to press. If you got a weight, grab it. Here we go. This is six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oops. Heading this way. Press to get out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. Here we go, back into those bears. This time I'm really gonna reach, I'm gonna reach back past my knee and try and touch that foot. Then I'm gonna do my donkeys. Here we go, load that bear up. Reach to the heel. Donkey. Ten of these guys. This is halfway there. Good job, everybody. Oh. Alternating push-ups. Last time I went like this. This time I'm gonna go wide. How about I go one narrow and one really wide. I'll do five on each side. Mix it up. You never know how you're gonna land if you fall. Don't be programmed to be in a robotic position. One hand out, so I'm going to lean myself over onto that side. The other hand's just going to be out there like a rudder, like an outrigger canoe. One, two, three, four, and five. And turn it so you can see that hand way out. I'm going to be loading the other one. One, two, three. Four and five. There we go. Let's get our waves going. Wave it up. This time, instead of coming down together, I'm going to flutter on the way down like a little diver dam. Here we go. 
flutter on my way down. Swing it through and pop. Going for 10. Halfway there. There we go. Hope everybody's doing good. All we have left is one more little uh, squat touch. Then we'll do a little cool down stretchy. Too bad John's not there. John, are you out there? Maybe, I see three, I see three eyeballs. He usually comments though. All right, here we go, squat touches. Hands are going down to the ground, feet are popping out. 30 seconds, here we go. Pop down. Work that mobility. Increase your range of motion. Get your heart rate up. Halfway there. Five seconds. Nice. Good work, everybody. <sighs> All right. I got to jet back to the Mac. Train people. <laughs> so I'll lead us through a little cool down here. And I'm off to the races. Go from the uh, east. That quad stretch. Switching sides. Pull that leg back. Bend the other knee. Good. I'm going to go to the ground for this one. You're going to see me on a knee, but sliding that other foot all the way out. So this leg's here. That leg's sliding out. I'm going to stretch my adductor first, so I'm walking myself over. Then I'm going to turn my heel up. I don't know if you can see that. Turn the heel up. Now I can keep coming over, and that gets more hamstring. So now we're getting that hamstring to rip through. There we go. And switching sides. <clears throat> Slide that foot all the way up. First I get my adductor. Sliding out this way, really let that loosen. Then that heel goes up, or that toes go up, go over my heel. <clears throat> Come on over into that hamstring. <clears throat> there we go. I'm going to lie flat on my back and get a little piriformis stretch. Cross one leg over the other. Reaching through that hole. Pull them back. Breathe it out. Let that glute and lower back stretch. I'm going to go from here into the lower back and I'll show you how that nice little seamless transition. So that's glute. I'm going to continue the leg crossover. Let the weight of my legs just take my lower body over and try to keep my shoulder down. Stretch out that lower. There we go, switching sides. Right leg over, pulling through. Stretch out that glute. Slide that leg down, cross on it over. Try and keep that shoulder down. There we go. 
Thank you for joining me today, girl. Everybody have a great day. I am off for a quick shower and heading to the Mac. See you soon. Uh, anything you need, you just tag me and I'll send you some more workouts. So whatever you need.